YouTube, what's going on? Today, we're going to be giving an update about Jeff Nipyard, Nipart's situation with this big juice monster, whatever guy. Literally, I just posted a video maybe 25, 30 minutes ago. I've been editing it, though, since like an hour and a half ago. Speaking about this, there was no update at the time. I thought that he was going to be quiet about it because I'm not sure, like, how... Uh, if he was going to take the legal route, how that goes, what what a lawyer would recommend to him. But we do have an update. And this update literally dropped an hour ago. So literally right after I exported my video, right before I started posting it. I just wanted to get on here and go over this. Now, if you haven't seen the video already, I'm going to show you guys it real quick. Take a look right here. Jeff Nipper just got assaulted. There it is. That's literally it. And then you can this see... Void raging. You can see he is on the ground. He's on the ground, right? I mean, he got flung by this guy. He got punched in the throat pretty much. I mean, it was like this. But, I mean, that's like a punch in the throat. Obviously not a great place to get hit. Probably a lot of arteries, stuff like that. Connect to your throat. Connect to your brain. And so, as we can see... He, he's somewhere. He's in the hospital. He's somewhere. I'm not sure what type of scanning device this is, but I'm assuming that they were scanning his brain, scanning his neck, scanning anything for internal bleeding. Um, I, I'm not sure, but we're just going to read this right now. I have not read it at all. I have no clue what he's going to say. Let's see. So, if you've seen the video by now, I want to clarify the incident. All right, so he's going to talk about the incident. First, I want to give an update that I got a CT scan done, and I'm okay. All right, that's good. But, yeah, I mean, getting punched like that in the neck, seriously, unless you're a trained MMA fighter and you know when something's wrong, you have no clue what to expect. And that, that's probably the 100% right thing to do. If you get jabbed in the neck like that, I would probably say, yes, go get the CT scan done. In case you didn't see it, this is exactly what happened. There were many witnesses. All right, so I didn't know that. It looked like they were, like, the only two in the gym, but I, the video is pretty blurry, too. Mike Van Wick jabbed me in the throat twice in the middle of the gym and then shoved my camera. Okay, so I did not know about the cameraman part, and I also didn't really know too much about the jab in the throat twice. I thought that it was, um... I thought it was only one time. I don't know, like, where the second one came from. We're still, I guess we're still waiting on details from that. Or maybe he says that in here. I'm not sure. Uh, there was already a lie going around that Mike asked me to stay away from him and that I didn't listen. Now, now that would be true. That would be something. If you didn't stay away from him and he asked you to, that's a little bit different. And approach him first. This is false. Okay, so what he's saying is he didn't approach him first. And he all and he didn't ask him to stay away from him. And I think this is a gym has security footage to prove it. I think they should release it. Okay, so he's he's kind of pulling the gym in on this one, right? I mean, the gym's already in a tough spot. These are two influencer types. You know, you hate you hate to pick sides, but on something like this, you're they're probably gonna have to pick a side pretty fast, right? This is tough. This is exactly what happened. As I was filming bicep curls for a YouTube short. Mike brushed by me and said, Sup? This is our first engagement that day. I chuckled. Okay, so that that seems pretty normal, right? For people who even beef on the internet, like, if you've seen before, Greg and Larry Wheels, they joke all the time. Honestly, like, you know, Greg says so much crap about Larry Wheels, but when they see each other in person, it's just all love. And they have, you know, Larry's got a video, we confronted Greg Doucette, but they just sit together and they just talk. Mike said... Oh, things are about to get real funny as he walked past me. Alright, so yeah, that's different. Alright, so even saying, like, sup is just, like, if you guys are actually having beef, like, chuckling, that isn't, like, bad. I, you know, I don't know. Maybe that's, like, when you make up. is Him chuckling, it's kind of awkward situation. That's really it. it. Oh, things are about to get real funny as he walked past me. I then asked him... What did you mean by that? I made sure my cameraman was filming in case he tried any fun funny business. Then he walked back towards me. He said, turn the camera off and immediately jabbed me in the throat and I fell to the floor. So that's probably what we saw. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy how fast it escalated like that. Like, 
No crap talk, nothing like this. This guy had it made up in his mind, right? I would assume that he had it made up in his mind that if he saw him or when he saw him, he was going to hurt him. Literally, like, that's what it sounds like from his point, right? Obviously, we're going to need the other side of the story. But from what I'm hearing right now, it sounds like he just he just walked up and he knew what he was going to do. He knew he was going to hurt him. He thought he was just going to go away, right? He, the steroid, roid, rage, whatever was flowing through him like crazy. And he thought he'd just get away with this. Pure muscle and fitness allows filming, by the way. So, yeah, so doing nothing wrong, and so him saying turn the camera off, that was probably the first sign that he was going to do something stupid. I stood back up, and he told me never to talk about him ever again. Then he jabbed me in the throat this, a second time. Okay, okay, so now I'm understanding. So, after the first time, the camera was probably done, unless they have more footage, which I haven't seen of the second jab, right? Because I only saw the first one, which is when he fell on the floor. And honestly, it was bad. It looked bad. But, like, if it was just that to happen, that'd be like, okay. It's like, at least it ended there. But I think this gets more crazy. But, yes. So, first of all, talking about someone, like, bad on the internet, that's just the internet, bro. If it's actually that bad and it, and it affects, like the way you live whatever then you can you could go get an attorney you could talk to the attorney how bad is it right you could talk about i mean maybe message a guy can you take the video down there's so many other ways to go about this seriously if you want to try to sue somebody to get a video down do that don't do this i stood back up again he told me to never talk to me and then he jabbed me for the second time then he turned my videographer videographer my bad and pushed him against a cable machine now that's where it's just way too far because now this guy you, you see where something so small of him maybe like just pushing him them having an agreement you know that then he's like oh shoot my bad I shouldn't act that way let's fix it right no lawsuits anything like that gets handled but when he stands back up and he throws him down for a second time and then he assaults the videographer that's when I, I believe charges should get pressed, right? The, I mean, the, there's no justifying this. He had, m like, a lot of time. I, I don't even know. I'm assuming this probably happened within, like, two, three minutes. But he probably had at least 20 seconds from him standing back up to think about the choice he just made before he assaulted him again and then assaulted his cameraman. Then he walked away. That is a full story. And there's gym security footage to prove it. It's up to the gym if they want to release it, right? So more pressure on the gym. It's tough being in the gym situation right now, right? You have to, you have to, if you're, if you're in the gym right now, you have to look deep into both sides. As of now, Pure Muscle and Fitness is still allowing Mike to train clients at the gym. And so this is, this is, so he's coming after the gym a little bit, which is tough for the gym. I'd say tough for the gym. I'm not saying he's wrong for asking the gym to release it. I would probably say that too. Maybe the gym could release it, ask for for feedback on what how they should handle it if they don't know how to handle it. But, right, they're probably going to have to make something up soon. I also want to say I really, really appreciate the outpouring support. Uh, makes it easier to deal with. I don't know why he attacked me other than he really hates my training style, which I talked about in the last video. Why? Like, what? It's not that deep. Um, I certainly gave him absolutely no reason to hate me. Even if I did, there's no excuse to physically attack someone. 100% agree. So I'm going over a disagreement. My opinion that I was that it was a result of anger brought by the clip I posted yesterday responding to his question about science-based training. Pretty wild stuff. I agree 100%. Now, how the gym handles this is going to be really deep. Because if we go to this gym right here, they just have tons of freaking famous people all over here. I mean, we have... We have C-Bum, they helped set up his gym, his personal gym. I've seen, I don't even know, I think I've seen that guy before. Um, but, right, you get a whole bunch of people with, with names, right? People that are known. And so this is a serious gym. It's a, it's a no-joke gym, big gym, bo big bodybuilding gym. How will they respond? I'm not sure. I don't know what I'd do if I was in the gym's position in this situation. Let me know what you guys think. Let me see. Anything on the story as of now? Nothing. Nothing. So they probably have no clue what to do. So guys, if you, if you have an opinion on what the gym should do, go ahead, comment it down below. 
this whole situation is so crazy. Stupid crap like this needs to end. Until next time, Blake wants to sign out. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.